with our virtual machine now deployed, it's now time for us to connect to the virtual machine itself. And there are multiple ways that we can do that. First of all, let's go over to the Azure portal and create an RDP session to the virtual machine. Here we are in the Azure portal, and the easiest way to find your VMs is either to click the Virtual Machines tab on the left, or go into your resource group, but note that it will show the other associated features with the Virtual Machine as well. Here we are in the Virtual Machines tab, and you can see our Virtual Machine, SL-VM01, which is our Windows Virtual Machine here. Go ahead and click into that. On the right-hand side now, you'll see an icon that says Connect. Go ahead and click that one. As you can see, it will download an RDP file to your machine. If you open that up, it'll look just like a normal RDP file that would use when you create an RDP connection to any Windows machine, traditionally on your on-premises network. You'll get a certificate warning, that's just because we haven't created a certificate for this machine, but go ahead and click Connect, and you'll be prompted for your credentials. Now just simply enter the username and password that you used when you created the machine. Click yes if you're prompted for the certificate warning again. And as you can see, we're connected into the machine. And up comes our desktop. So that's one way to connect into our virtual machine. The next way is very similar, but instead of us doing it through the portal itself, let's go and do the same thing using PowerShell. So first of all, let's close out of this RDP session. And go over to our PowerShell client. And in this case, we use the following PowerShell command, get Azure RM remote desktop file, followed by the resource group name. In our case, it's SL-7533-VMs. dash dash Followed by the name of the virtual machine. And then we can add an optional parameter either for launching it directly or saving it locally. In this case, we're going to launch it hit enter, and you can see immediately we get the connection box pop up and we can go straight into our virtual machine. All right, so we've seen a couple of methods to connect to our virtual machine via RDP, but it's also possible to connect via WinRM using PowerShell. In order to do this, we have two main methods, WinRM HTTPS. This is where we can connect over SSL using port 5986, and this is the recommended option if you're going to connect over the internet as it's much more secure. In addition, we have WinRM HTTP. No SSL is required. This uses port 5985, and this is ideal for connections from the same private network which is already secure. There are a number of steps involved in order to set up WinRM. First of all, you have to create a key vault, create a self-signed certificate, upload that certificate to your key vault, get the URL for your certificate from the key vault. So at this point, we've created the key vault, the certificate, certificates in the key vault, now we get the URL for the certificate directly from the key vault. Finally, we reference our self-signed certificate when we create the virtual machine. All of these procedures can be found at the following link. You won't be expected to know the detailed commands for this, but you should be familiar with the high-level procedures of what's required to create the self-signed certificate. And with that, that concludes this demonstration.